Day four of teaching myself 3D modeling or sculpting. Yeah, I understand now there's a difference between sculpting and modeling. Modeling is getting a cube, jamming a sphere into it, jamming some piping in and pulling points until you get what you want. Whereas sculpting is getting a big block of clay and poking and pulling at it and scraping at it until you get what you want. I didn't know that until you guys start telling me the differences between pieces of software and saying, oh, well, this one's better for modeling and this one's better for sculpting. And being a like veteran 2D artist, I had no idea that there was a there was a difference in the 3D world. I mean, I knew both of these things were doable, but I just thought different art packages do things in different ways. You know, now it feels more like the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator. I'm very much a sculptor. I, I you know, my, if you look at my 2D art on my website, then you'll see I, I draw fantasy, I draw, I draw sci-fi, but you know, mainly it's character stuff. You know, I draw portraits as well, but whether it's fantasy or sci-fi, I'm drawing portrait stuff. I'm not drawing tanks, ships, and guns. If I was, the modeling would be great, but you know, I'm drawing a lot of stuff. I'm drawing dragons a lot. People do like my dragons, but you know, you have to sculpt that. That's, gonna, that's so much better to sculpt, I think. And I think sculpting just suits me, so sculpting it is. Today I've, yeah, I'm still ill, by the way. You might have noticed. Though I generally look ill all the time. But today I've installed Autodesk's Mudbox. Why? Well, obviously this was a suggestion from you guys. Why this one in particular? I'm gonna try a lot of different ones and there was no particular reason for the order for trying these like I already downloaded Blender and installed that but I wanted to jump straight to Mudbox because Mudbox seemed a lot like ZBrush maybe just differently made I want to say better made because ZBrush frustrated me a bit but that's me coming into it you know and this is day four of me teaching myself so I'm not going to slam ZBrush because obviously it has a lot of fans followers and there must be a reason for people loving it so much so it must be good and it's probably more the fact that as a 2D artist it's just not the best application to transition to or at least not for me so I installed Mudbox thinking that maybe some of the stuff that I taught myself from ZBrush I could transition to Mudbox remember now that I haven't watched a single tutorial video most people teaching themselves 3D would probably go and binge watch like 24 hours worth 48 hours worth of online tutorials, be them free or paid ones. I haven't watched a single video. I want to find the application that kind of just suits me, that I just click with, that I find things in naturally. If I have to go and watch a tutorial every time I get stuck, I'm going to be really annoyed. So I, while I could do the tutorial thing, and this comes from somebody who makes tutorials, I'd rather have something I could just explore and just find naturally. ZBrush, yeah, that whole thing that I complained about in day two, and that kept happening as well. Mudbox feels to me like if Adobe had bought ZBrush and Adobeized it, this is what you'd have. Autodesk are well known, you know, in the 2D world for a lot of things and make a lot of good applications. I don't really have any videos on using their stuff, funnily enough, but I have used their stuff and it's good stuff and I, I know they make good applications. I opened this up, instantly felt at home. The command shortcuts I was using in ZBrush were the same here. Everything just seemed to work, though I seemed to be able to move around it a little bit easier. Now I will say that I did this on my Wacom Cintiq in the studio. I didn't do this on the Wacom Mobile Studio. This is really good, I'm liking this, and it just felt more natural. One thing straight away I loved about this was the brushes. A smaller selection of brushes in ZBrush, but they seem to be clearer to work out what they were and their functions were and how to use them. And like some of the brushes I just loved instantly and thought, oh God, this is what I wanted when I was in ZBrush. The knife, so I can get in there and just scrape out and then just smooth and yeah, brilliant, lovely. I am gonna have to do a course on how to make eyes, I will say that. Overall, you know, I, I like this. I thought this was a nice place to start and I only spent an hour in this. I'm only doing like an hour or a couple hours a day, but overall absolutely love this so far. I'm gonna move on and try other applications as well, so stick with me for that. 
but I want to say a big thank you to you guys for being absolutely fantastic for your support for all your suggestions you know for just being there for me while I'm ill telling me what I should be looking at with 3D especially as a 2D artist you know I have a natural bias to towards something when I look at it you know I think oh this is going to be better for me and I might be totally wrong but you guys having your advice is is absolutely outstanding and uh, yeah so I won't waffle on anymore thanks for, for supporting me I'm going to go away and collapse yeah see you guys soon well thanks for watching be sure to comment like and even subscribe to my channel Lawrence Can Draw and if you really did like what you saw here you can see more of it on my website lawrenceman.co.uk I'll see you next time